Welcome to this tutorial about the Waybots editor. This time I will talk about extracting songs from templates and then modifying the results. Templates are often good for getting songs and sound effects quickly and the results sound pretty okay most of the time, but there is always room for improvement. First I will generate some songs until I find one that I want to improve upon. Then I will extract the song, this button, into a different format and edit it into this songs sound effects tab. Here we have a lot more control over the individual phrases of the song and we can edit the instruments and the uh, progressions and much more. Then I will try to improve the song and make it longer and fix any of the problems that I find. So, I'll just get started with the first step of finding a good starting song to improve upon. I will select this happy platforming template, click randomize and play, and listen until I find something I like. Okay, I have found a song that I want to improve. I'm now going to click on the extract tab and on the create new song sound effects button. This will make the resulting song turn up in these songs and sound effects tab. And here we have a lot more control over the result. But first, let's listen to the song. We can also listen to the individual phrases by selecting them and pressing the play button. If you just want to listen to a subset of the song, you can select the, these solo and mute buttons. And here we have selected these two phrases. And if you play the entire song, then only those two phrases will be played. I'm going to try and make the song a bit longer, both by changing the length of the phrases and also by copying and pasting the existing phrases. I want to first increase the length of the intro by increasing the number of measures in these phrases. I'm selecting intro 1-1 one, one phrase and click on the length, tempo and mods tab. Then I just increase the number of measures to 2 and I do the same thing with the intro 1-2 phrase. So I'm going to listen to that subset of phrases. So now the intro is a bit longer. Then I'm going to create another verse in the song by reusing the existing phrases. I select these four phrases by control clicking on them. Then I right click, select copy four items. Then I select this final phrase, right click and select paste. I copied both the in between and verse two since I wanted, wanted another resting part of the song before the third verse. I don't want the exact same phrases here though. I want them to be similar but not exactly the same. I will change the length of the in-between of the second in-between here to use the length of two measures instead. I will also change the progression of these in-between phrases so they connect more with the verses instead. I'm also going to change the scale offset of this, second, this third verse. I can do that here in the progression and scale tab. 
and I'm gonna set it to one. So it's just gonna raise the scale base of these races compared to the global scale base, which in this case is C flat, which is a weird scale base. So I'm just gonna set it to C instead. And if I later want to change the scale base of the song, uh, these offsets would just follow along. Now let's just listen to the final four phrases of this song. The instruments can be found in the synthesizer tab of the song. They can also be found on the left here if you expand synthesizer and instruments. I can play with the instruments here. This instrument is set to monophonic, which means that I can only play one note at a time. I change that to monophonic per pitch. And I can use the keyboard to play the notes with it. The instrument isn't that interesting sounding, so I will try to improve that. I will add a low frequency oscillator. And I'm going to try to create a vibrato effect. So it's going to be a delay before it kicks in an in instrument. Now I have the low frequency oscillator here created. I'm not I'm also going to connect it to the voice oscillator. And do that in the mod matrix a tab. Select the low frequency oscillator source and the oscillator as destination. And I'm going to change the uh, this uh, pitch of the oscillator and it's setting the scale to 0 0.4 semitones so now the instrument sounds a bit more interesting and now we can try and play that uh, instrument by playing uh, one of the phrases for example this first verse and see how it sounds Okay, that was a bit better. I will also try to improve the bass instrument. It sounds pretty okay already. If I play it longer. Then it has a pulse with modulation going on. I want it to stand out a bit more though, so I will duplicate this oscillator, this voice oscillator and place that one octave lower. This creates a more powerful sound and it takes up some space in the frequency range that it's currently unused. For example, there's no kick drum in this song. Let's listen to verse 1-1 one, one. again. So we can hear both of the modified instruments playing. That was much better. Okay, now I'm done with all the modifications to this song. I've tried to demonstrate how to use templates in combination with manual changes to create a longer and improved song. Thank you very much for watching. Now let's listen to the final result. <laughs>